Memorial Eagles to the press room. With today's loss, they will play in tonight's third place game and move to 32 and five on the season. We're joined by head coach Mike Arbuthnot, Kelby Zupin, Aubrey Wallace, and Olivia Durbin. Uh, coach, we'll start with your general thoughts on the game and then open up to the floor from there. Well, obviously defensively, uh, our whole focus was trying to contain 6'5", 6'4", 6'1". And uh, as I sit here right now, I thought we really did a nice job. Uh, one thing that we've been struggling with a lot throughout the year was giving up a lot of offensive rebounds. Uh, we held them to nine. Uh, I thought our kids defensively did a fabulous job. I thought we really, really did a good job defensively, carried out the game plan fine. Offensively, uh, we got out of sync a little bit. Uh, I know we shot around 22, 23% from the field. And when you do that, you know, against a quality ball club like uh, Carmel, uh, it's going to catch up with you. And, you know, we got down uh, about the middle of that first quarter, towards the tail end of that first quarter, and we were trying to play catch up as much as we can. But obviously, a lot of kudos goes to uh, Karma. They're a really good ball club. They're tough to handle. Uh, their guard play uh, was very, I thought was very good. They were able to get the ball to the three bigs in that triangle offense. And, you know, I hope they uh, have a great, uh, you know, finish it off uh, with winning the state title because I thought they were a really classy, good ball club. Olivia, how much did their size bother you? You seem I mean, to handle it for a while. Yeah, we're not really used to playing. I mean, yeah, we are used to playing with like a lot of size, but we've never really seen anyone this tall before. <laughs> but, I mean, it did affect us a lot, but we just need to keep our heads out, honestly. We did really good. Arm should you brought in Sam Buckley to shoot over this week? <laughs> well, we, we were going to say if he could make the trip, but, uh, you know, maybe he was in the stands. We probably should I should have looked over my shoulder and tried to find him. <laughs> 40 to 6 points in the paint, is that the game? No doubt, yeah. And, you know, going in, uh, we knew that, you know, they were very capable of, you know, scoring in the 70s. And that triangle offense is really hard to guard. And I thought we did a pretty nice job of holding them to 54. And, you know, it was just the situation. Also, you know, we weren't able to get out in our transition the way that we normally do. Either. They did a good job of containing that. Tell me how tough was their defense? What did they do to hold you guys? I mean, my game is driving to the basket and just going in strong. And it's hard when you're going against tall girls like this team. But uh, definitely affected my game a little bit. But I mean, our shooting wasn't there either. But honestly, our, if our shooting was all there, I mean, they dominated, dominated us so much on the boards. There was really little that we could do. Have you ever seen a team like that? Three six footers and one six fours. Uh, probably not that tall, but I mean, usually teams we play, they have one pretty big girl, and they've had they had multiple. So it was definitely tough, hardest thing. I mean, I've, we've seen this year, but we just need to bounce back for tonight. Or if they go high low, man, it was there wasn't much you could do there. Pretty tough. I mean, you know, our whole game plan was not to let them get the ball high. You know, and uh, at times we were able to contain it, but once they got it there, it was pretty tough because we just couldn't match up with that seal and that high level action is pretty tough. It's 9-8 when Wood goes to the bench with two fouls and with her on the bench they get the lead to 24 to 12. I mean, yeah. how big is that? That, that was huge. Uh, as we were walking in at halftime, that's exactly what I told Coach Durbin. I said, you know, uh, 13 went out, you know, and uh, they extended their lead out of that. So they had some other kids obviously step up and do some good things for them. And that was our time uh, to be able to either build on a lead or, you know, at least stay close and they just did a good job of pulling away. Aubrey, you hung for a quarter. What did they, what did they do to take it away in the second? Um, they face guarded me and they put a lot of pressure on me. And whenever they do that, it's harder to get the ball in my hands. And usually I'm the one that gets the offensive, offensive started and pushes the ball in transition. So not having that, it was difficult to get our offensive start, so. Size-wise and toughness, Olivia, is that the best team you faced? Probably. You knew what was coming, but you just couldn't do much about it, could you? Yeah. The size is just size. Yeah. Or do you think there's something that, that got in your guys' head at all? I mean, the threes you got maybe were rushed a little bit, or is that not the case? Yeah, I mean, their length had a lot to do with that, too, because we're a little bit farther out. And, you know, that shot that we're normally coming off a double screen or whatever, you know, when you're looking at 6'4 or 6'5 coming at you, it's a lot different than 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, so, you know, our guards are going to rush their shot a little bit. Uh, and, you know, what we game plan was was try to attack and kick, 
But I will say this, they did a really good job of closing out. When we did do that, they did a good job of closing out because, you know, when you've got that 6-5 just standing around the uh, – around the paint all day long. They know that, I mean, how many times did we get shots blocked? Four or five times, you know? And uh, probably could have been more than that. But, you know, that, that's the thing about it. They did, they got that room protector, but then they also got those kids that can close out on our shooters. Tell me, what do you do now? Do you get fired up for a third place game? Or do you oh, emotionally sure. be ready to go again in a few For hours? sure. I mean, this is still like a big deal to be here for our school. In third place, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, fourth place, anything, just to be here and have the experience and get to play all these great athletes. I mean, it's, I know it's making them better for next year, and I wish I had another year with them, but I know it's making my team better, and they'll be better in the future. Can you comment on the crowd? Looks like with all those clothes today. <laughs> you know what? It's been this way for basically all season, and I know it's really picked up. A little bit in the postseason, but you know the support, the community, the administration, uh, just everybody. Uh, as you go through town, uh, they're excited, they're proud, and I'm sure they're still going to be really proud of this group because you know this is a special group, uh, and we're in a special time right now. And I'm just glad that uh, we were able to share it with them. We have time for 